tonight we're here at the Lumbar JC's Haunted House. It's been going on for 37 years strong and there's no end in sight. So why don't you come on in with us and we'll check it out. It started about 37 years ago as uh, basically a fundraiser for the uh, for the JCs and uh, the the gentleman that started Dick Brandt um, was heavily involved with the uh, the Illinois JCs and the Lombard JCs. In fact, the uh, the year that he started planning it, uh, he passed away that year. In fact, his coffin is behind us. We put a little memorial plaque on there uh, and we usually take it out to, into the lobby or into one of the rooms uh, uh, just to, to showcase it a little bit. We've been in uh, various uh, buildings. Uh, we've been in uh, what they call the Ice House in Lombard. We've been in uh, just regular homes in Lombard. We build the house uh, totally ourselves. The village of Lombard, uh, the fire department, uh, they just have accolades to say for us as far as the safety that we go through every single year for all the people that come through the house. I've been around since I was like seven years old. Got involved with my dad when he first came around. Um, took a kind of sabbatical and then came back when I turned 20 been here ever since. As far as the haunted house goes, I mean, it's made drastic changes initially. Um, when the project initially started, we actually did it in old abandoned houses um, that the fire department was going to be burning down. So we'd go in, build the house, um, start it off on, you know, a budget of a couple hundred bucks, you know, uh, things done with cardboard, you know, totally different the way they are now. You know, now we 100% fireproof, you know, two by four structure, you know, 16 on center, just, built, just like building a, uh, a normal house. Wall of shame, that's our, uh, <laughs> it all started off as a joke. Um, we uh, playing chainsaw, how many people we could get to fall down, pee on themselves. And now it's turned into a whole house project, you know, Haunters at the end of the night will tell us how many people they got to knock to the floor, um, if anybody wets themselves, you know, lose control, whatever. So we kind of keep track of that and get a running total on a board. You know, it's kind of incentive for our haunters do a good job. They want to come to us and tell us that, you know, they got somebody for the, for the wall of shame. So it has become a nice haunted house now. On the count of three. 